guys, Liz here. Well, today I am finishing a project I started yesterday. Would you guys like to hear about it? All right. Think ladder, rustic ladder above your dining room table. If you guys have been following me for any length of time, um, back when I used to be Savvy Seasons, when I used to have a blog called Savvy Seasons, I hung um, a rustic ladder above my dining room table and the other day I was searching online on Google Images for some ideas and my old ladder was splashed all over the internet on people's websites, on people's Pinterest. And it got me thinking how much I loved and missed that ladder. So I got myself on my handy dandy phone and got right on Amazon and went to Barnwood USA and ordered myself a rustic ladder. So now I, when I went to Barnwood USA, I read the reviews which were mediocre. Some people loved it, some people hated this ladder. And I took a chance on it. I thought, you know what? It's not like I'm gonna decorate with it and put blankets, like fold blankets and lay it over over one of the ladder pieces where I'm gonna get splinters and I'll, no. I'm gonna hang it from the ceiling. So why would I care if there's a few little splinters, right? So I took a chance and I ordered it. I knew I needed a six foot ladder. You can order this ladder in six different colors. I got whitewash and uh, I have to say when I came I was pleasantly surpri surprised. I ordered it Friday and I got it next day on Saturday. I went out there to do something on my Porsche and I'm like oh, what's this? I totally forgot that I ordered that ladder. I guess I was thinking you know two day shipping and um, there it was. So Barnwood USA Thank you. My ladder came next day and I love it. So, if you're interested in getting this ladder, go to Barnwood USA on Amazon and you can get it from four foot all the way to six foot, 18 inches wide. I just got straight up six foot and the color I chose was whitewash. However, they have six different colors to choose from. So you can get espresso, robin's egg blue, rustic red, smoky black, weathered gray, and then whitewash. So I'm really liking this. I may have to order myself another one. Anyway, what I love about the ladder is sky's the limit. When I had it in Washington State, I took um, a grapevine wreath and I wrapped it all around it and I added fall leaves to that and then for Christmas I did um, what did I do I got Christmas garland and I wrapped it on both sides of the ladder then I took Mardi Gras beads and I tied that in to the granary dropped the Mardi Gras bead and then added snowflakes that look like crystal at different heights um, there were snowflakes and icicles got them at the Dollar Tree and just attached them to the Mardi Gras beads and you could do the Mardi Gras beads and if you wanted to be do silver and gold you could if you wanted to do red, the traditional red and green um, anyway those are just options but and for fall if you wanted to hang fall leaves I mean there's so many things you could do you could hang a ladder above your kitchen island if you didn't have pendant lighting or chandelier you could hang it I mean, there's so many places you could hang it. So, but anyway, I chose to hang it in my basement above a, a table. So, without further ado, let me stop my talking and let's go down there and play with some ideas. Let's see what I can come up with. I guarantee with whatever I come up with today, I guarantee you it will change probably in the next week or so because I like to tweak things. I, I get them and I look at them, study them. 
and I'm like, nah, I can make it better. So then I disassemble and I do it better. So anyway, let's go down there and let's start playing. Okay, guys. So I'm inserting some pictures of my ladder decorated for fall when I lived in Washington State. And here you can see I've got grapevine and fall leaves hugging the ladder with a cute autumn sign. And I used to love sitting at the dining room table and looking up at my ladder because you could see all the beautiful fall foliage. And here you can see I've got two candle chandeliers hanging on each end. And this was my ladder decorated for spring. Just absolutely love it. Lots of possibilities. Operation Hang Ladder. Okay, these are the supplies you'll need to hang a ladder. I'm gonna need uh, probably eight feet of chain. So we got two boxes, measuring tape pencil, jumbo hooks, screwdriver, level, and we are ready to hang this ladder. So we're gonna hook the chain onto the hook and then take the chain all the way up to the ceiling, uh, which creates a vertical line, and then you can mark the ceiling um, exactly where you wanna hang it. Okay, oops, this is one other thing I forgot to show in the supplies uh, video, but um, you'll need a drywall anchor if you plan on carrying any amount of weight. And this anchor can carry up to 75 pounds. And so this is gonna go into the ceiling and then this will get screwed into that. Now my husband is screwing in that drywall anchor right there. And then all we have to do is screw the hook into that. for two. Now we're ready to hang the ladder. Okay, so we got the ladder hung and now we're just playing with different heights. I got this lantern today at Home Goods, So I want it to sit center stage on this ladder. So we were try trying to determine how much chain we needed to let it down so that we could accommodate for the height of this Lantern. So you can see I've got a wall shelf and a little wall embellishment there and I didn't want the ladder to hinder that and get in its way because I didn't want it to be hanging where you only see half of that. So we may take it down one notch because I definitely want to put that up there, I think. So we're going to probably take it down one little notch and we'll see how that looks. Now we're checking to see if it's level. Ladder's still hanging a little bit. but. Uh, I'd say he did a great job. Looks pretty spot on. Okay, we got the ladder nice and level and hung and we got the chains cut to our desired length. And my husband wanted me to point out that if you have trouble getting your ladder leveled, you can simply tweak the chains, um, kind of twist them and move them around and that will help level out the la ladder. So as you can see, we've strung several berry garlands on each side of the ladder. That will act as my base, and now I can add my fall foliage and, and decorative okay, items. So let's get to decorating. Here's a lantern I got at Home Goods today. And I've got a candle here and a fall wreath. And right over here, I've got an old cloche. I'm not going to use this. I want to add some height. Um, to this so I'm going to put my candle on this base see look how pretty that looks perfect for fall I've got my candle on my pedestal and now we need to add a pop of fall color so we're going to add this this little wreath we're going to put it around the base of the candle so here you can see I have all my staple pieces set in place. I've got my lantern, my sign, my basket with a wreath and pumpkin, 
So they're all ready to go and all that's left to do is to go and grab all my floral picks and try to stick as many up there on both sides as possible. And the name of the game is layer, layer, layer. So I've got the berries as my base and now I'm just going to start filling in on the sides, on both sides of the ladder. And we should be good to go here shortly. So I ordered some fairy lights on Amazon and they came, I don't know if there were six or eight to a pack, but I got quite a few of them. And so I think I'm gonna try that up there. Just add a little bling, bling, bling. So here they are turned on. Let's see how this is hey going. Hey guys, look. I just added the fairy lights both on this side and the opposite side. And I wanted the other side to look cute like this side but you know, you've got the back of that basket showing. So what I did was I added the sign over here. So if you're walking in here from the other room, it's not like you're staring at something ugly. So you still see the lantern and the fall foliage and the autumn blessing sign. And then over here, I've got a cute little wreath and then I wrapped the fairy lights in amongst those. So all in all, I think it turned out really cute. I'm going to clean up here and then I'll show you the final look with the table and the table arrangement all done, but super cute. And I'm going to light that candle for you. So I'll be back in just a minute. So right here is a good place to kind of fill in. So I just see I'm just simply sticking my leaves in and look how pretty that looks. Love it. And then right here I have a little gap. So this is also to a good place to fill in with this pit. Love it. It was sort of covering my pumpkin so I just pushed them down, but it filled in that little gap. So I just got this little packet at Walmart and they're harvest leaves. And up here, you can see, I've just kind of placed them sporadically. I put one there and one up there, one there, and so I'm going to put some in a few other okay, places. Okay, guys, as you come down to the basement, you can see this room does not have any windows. And my belief is just because a basement room doesn't have windows doesn't mean it needs to be dingy, dark, and dull. And so I wanted to bring the autumn touch down to this room and make it bright and vibrant and cozy for fall. So this is our old fur. You know, you guys know that I used to be really big into the Tuscan look and feel. And I still do have that scattered throughout the house, but I'm trying to, trying to scatter farmhouse here and there. But I do like my color. Can't do all, all white on everything. So it would drive me nuts. It would be too sterile for me. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it would be too sterile for my liking. So anyway, this is our old kitchen set when I was into the Tuscan stuff, but I hung this little wall shelf and then this arched gate, I hung a mirror there, two candle sconces, a little block, some block letters that say fall with a little pumpkin on it. And I did not want this ladder to impede on that design. So I wanted to hang it high so that when you you came so that when you come down the stairs you have full view of that and then your eyes can move upward so that was kind of my goal there but this room the builder did not put any kind of a chandelier there and it's basically just recessed lights which is kind of too contemporary for my liking i always like to have you know something above a table like a chandelier or, you know, something. So I thought this was the perfect arrangement for this table. So we hung the ladder and I decorated it and I did not think I was gonna love it as much as I do, but I am absolutely loving it. And I love this lantern and how the candle ref reflects on the ceiling, it's so pretty. And I love the pops of color with the, those little, um, fall berries and the fall foliage and leaves. 
super pretty. And then when you walk around here, well, let me show you this first. I think it's so cute. That says fall. I love that wreath. I've had it for years. I got it at Home Goods. It's a berry wreath, but super cute. And then I just have two candles on holders, rustic holders next to it. Now, you move over here. Let me back up on this side. We've got the berries and the fall foliage, and then I've got a sign that says Autumn Blessings. And then I've got an owl there and an owl there in amongst the fall leaves. And you can see the candle going strong up there. And the fairy lights. And then over here, I've got this table and to that I added a wreath and I love this wreath it's so pretty and then a glass candle holder and then I put a little orange pumpkin um, not pumpkin it's been a long day um, an orange candle in there with rope tied around it and then I found this cute little wheelbarrow at home goods love it and then over here, I've got a cloche with a little pumpkin arrangement in there. And then trying to add farmhouse, I've got these little shop lights and I like, I'm all about ambiance. So I wanted this little corner to be light, um, but I didn't necessarily want to put lamps on this table. So this is, this was my idea. And I got these two old windows. Well, they're not old, but they're from home goods and they're kind of farmhousey and weather looking. And to that, I added these two little sunflower swags that I got at Wegmans. And I think they're adorable. There's apples on there and pears. Super cute. So that's my little fall touch over there. See, there's, in, the, in this room, it's definitely more farmhouse looking. But over here, you know, I hated to get rid of my... I don't want to get rid of my furniture if I don't have to, so. Anyway, here's my ladder. Love it. I hope you guys love it too. And if you have a place in your basement or a room in your house and you want to add some oomph, or oomph and some fall, Pops of color, this is a great way to do it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll be back soon with more fall decorating. Bye now. Okay guys, I just finished the ladder. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't be afraid to try it yourself. I think you guys would really enjoy it somewhere in your house where you need a little pop of color and a little oomph. Give it a try. And excuse this, It I just went to pick my daughter up. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon and it literally feels like 110 degrees with 100% humidity. That's how hot it feels. I need some water. But anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I'll be back with more fall decorating. Okay, guys. Mwah.